Hey everyone, and welcome to another Game Explained discussion. I'm your host, Derek Bittner, and I'm joined today by John Cartwright and Steve Bowling to talk about Hideki Kamiya's recent tweets about the Switch UI. So, let's get started. And yeah, recently, uh, Kamiya's tweets blew up again. <laughs> it, it tends to happen with him. Uh, but this time, on December 29th, he actually talked about the Nintendo Switch's uh, home menu and UI. And uh, it got picked up after that and started spreading around and people started talking about it. And I'm actually a little confused why, because he's just kind of stating the obvious. <laughs> he's always like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he never minces his words. Uh, in fact, I think Steve actually provided a, a, a proper translation because Steve speaks the language of Japanese. I did. Uh, he used some expletives to describe the uh, the Switch's OS, but basically uh, the censored version is he did indeed call the Switch home menu a piece of crap. He said that the icons were stupidly large and that every other game that you haven't played recently is thrown into what he described as a garbage bin called All Games. Uh, it's not really a new criticism. I think everybody's been saying some flavor of this for years now, uh, but I guess it is just kind of notable because of the person that's saying it this time around. Sure. Uh, I, don't, I don't really have an issue with the icons being large. I think it works really well for handheld mode. My issue is you can't really organize your games. So I'm looking at my menu right now, and with the Final Fantasies, my order goes Final Fantasy 9, Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 8, because it's in Roman numerals, so for some reason it puts 9 before the other ones. I, I wish you could just organize it around somehow, but I, I don't really take issue with, um, with the size of them though. Yeah, the size never concerned me. It is kind of annoying that you have this massive list that I didn't even realize for a long time uh, was there. And, you know, you can go through them and find them. But if you have a lot of games, you really can lose them in the shuffle. I know there's a couple times where I've want, wanted to go play an older game that I haven't played recently. And I have a heck of a time finding it, even though I have it in alphabetical order for, for my uh, organization in that mode. Yeah, I agree. I have a lot of digital games, and it's very hard for me to find uh, the specific one I want sometimes. It even took me a while to figure out you could sort them alphabetically, <laughs> uh, because the default is by last time played, which is just objectively terrible. Um, but but I do agree with Camille's criticism. I, I, I don't think the issue is the icon size, like John says. I think it's just discoverability even of content you already own. It's just hard to find stuff. Sure, and those filters were introduced this year, like um, by organizing by title and organizing by time played. So up until up until 2019, we're in 2020 now, but up until 2019, <laughs> it was literally just what you played most recently. So it was even worse then. Um, but it, it does make me a little bit help, hopeful that maybe they will refine it over time. But we are in the Switch's third year now, or at least we're getting there, and there still aren't folders on this thing. Right, yeah. and let's not forget that it's rumored uh, that there may be a Switch OS update coming as early as this week. So, hopefully? <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> Maybe can we get ahead system. of it and be like, hey, what do you know, they fixed it. I mean... Maybe? I don't think Kamiya's in the know that much to get that kind of thing right, so it might just be a pure coincidence if that does happen. But this is also the weirdest thing where, you know, it has a theme menu. We have black and we have white, and they've never introduced other themes. And black is kind of gray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which drives me. It, that's, that's a whole other, you know, kind of <laughs> yeah. quirk, but... Um, the second tweet also says something on the lines of, has anyone in Nintendo played a Switch? Uh, which, like, when, when you, when you, like, someone like us who, um, plays a lot of games for the channel, you end up with hundreds and hundreds of Switch games, and it's just a big clutter, uh, and I'm, I'm looking at my home menu right now, and everything just kind of blends together. Uh, it would be, it would be great to have some kind of way to organize these, like, have folders, let me move my games around manually. Because um, otherwise you're just searching and searching for stuff. And I, I'm at the point where I have to literally scroll and scroll through to find a game. If I could just search for it, like if I could just type in Pac-Man Championship Edition and find it that way, that'd be so much easier. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Some, some type of search or even, like you said, John, folders. Like I'd love to have, because one, one of the main issues I have is when I take my Switch to someone else's house and I want to show them a game that I'm not necessarily working on or, or something, but something that I've played at this point maybe months ago. And then I have to go to that you know trash can that Kamiya described and look <laughs> for everything. Uh, I would love to have a folder that's just like party games and have all the games that you know I typically like to show people on the console. 
um, versus having to go there. Because I do think all games is just unbearably bad. But um, yeah, yeah there, it, it needs some organizational features and a search function. I mean, a top level search you think would be a really easy thing to put in and would save people a lot of headache for you know those of us that do have a lot of games. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, wasn't the excuse a long time ago? Nintendo kind of mentioned this, and they said the reason that this is kind of set up the way it was is that it uses very little memory. Right. Like there's so little of the Switch's uh, capacity goes towards this home menu because they want to make it quick and easy and just boom, you're in the game. So it is successful in that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Switch is just such an easygoing platform in that sense. And um, honestly, I, I I never really found the OS to be particularly troublesome. It's just kind of it it does the job. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, of course, it needs to have improvements like folders and organization. But I don't I don't personally think it's the worst um, console OS. No. No. Yeah, I actually think it's currently the best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the PS4 or the Xbox One interface, especially the Xbox One. Uh-huh. Um, so I would say I, I love the fact that the Switch OS is responsive. It doesn't take long to come up. Uh, there aren't any extent, you know, you don't have to sign in on top of on top of everything else, uh, you know, aside from selecting a user when you play your games. But it, it is very quick to get from... Uh, you know, the switch being off to into a game, and I think that's probably one of my favorite things about it. Mm-hmm. It's very clutter-free as well. There's no ads anywhere. Um, icons are, are large, and uh, it's it's immediately obvious what they do. Um, it's minimalist, and maybe to a fault. Like that, maybe there should be a web browser. Maybe there should be, but well, there definitely should be a way to message friends. <laughs> but um, you know, I, I I think it does what it does fi- fine enough. Yeah, I think that's kind of the best way to just describe it. It's fine. <laughs> it's not it's not we're nowhere new exceptional i mean i can see how some people in our situation would look at it and think it's just a piece of crap that's uh yeah what's a big garbage bin where all the rest of the games are i can totally see that mentality but it's also not the end of the world for me <laughs> you know it's like if a nintendo does it great if they don't well i put up with it for three years now exactly and and a lot of people you know it, it is worth noting we, we are definitely the exception. Uh, most people don't have a library of 200 uh, digital sure. games to, to slog through, right? Um, you know, most people that buy any console have like 15, 20, <laughs> 30 games. So it, it's not, uh, we're, we're definitely the exception to the rule here. So in, in that case, for people that don't have tons and tons of games, I think the menu works fine. So I think it's kind of an outlier, and maybe Kamiya just really likes playing games on Switch, and he has a ton like we do. I don't know. Or maybe Probably he's just does. angry. <laughs> That's possible. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that is always a possibility. I do find the comment on icons particularly perplexing, though, because people on Switch love their icons. Like if if a game launches and it's just a picture of something with no 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 logo, people lose their minds. Mm-hmm. Like Skyrim has a logo, and Hellblade had to be patched um, to change his icon because it was just so minimalist to start with. Um, so I I find the the icons to be attractive. They're they're, they're a nice decoration. I feel, um, and it, it is particularly nice that a lot of these games do try to try and like follow a particular template. Uh, and like occasionally you do get some oddballs. Like I know Resident Evil 4, for instance, has this horrible icon, <laughs> and people <laughs> people complain about it. People want to have that that uniform logo in the icon, which I think looks quite nice. Yeah, and I mean you've posted a couple times on Twitter, John, just a lineup of four games from your opening bed, and those big icons with those pictures do look attractive. Yeah, I don't quite get that but again everybody has their opinions <laughs> and again with uh, with the alphabetical stuff my my doom games go doom 2016 doom <laughs> doom 2 doom 3 i want doom 20, i want 2016 to come after doom 3 and when doom eternal <laughs> comes out where's that going to go is that going to go after doom 3 will doom 2016 be all the way on the other side of it well, i can't have that and you have doom uh, 64 <laughs> th- uh, where is that going to be <laughs> oh no oh uh, yeah, doom, doom 64 is going to be all the way um, at the end, probably. Yeah, somewhere around yeah. there. It's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a mess. <laughs> this, is the, this is the biggest first world problem. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. I mean, that said, I mean, I think hard about how I organize my games when I have them on the shelf. So it'd be nice to be able to do the same thing uh, digitally. Sure. Yeah. yeah with, uh, with with Dragon Quest right now, it goes Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest Builders, Dragon Quest Builders Two, Dragon Quest Two. I want I want Dragon uh, Quest Two to be next to Dragon Quest One. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's that's oof. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, but yeah, honestly, this ta- this subject has been talked to death. So, do we have any th- more anything more to add? Uh, is you know, is Camilla uh, off his rocker, <laughs> anything like that? But yeah, he's not wrong. Like, no. it's, it's definitely fine to expect more, and I definitely want things. But yeah, I mean, I'd be I'd be perfectly fine if the switch just kind of stays like this with mild refinements. It's not a deal breaker for me. Yeah, I think I think Camille, like most people that are outraged at something in the moment, you know, is engaging in a bit of hyperbole. Like the Switch OS is serviceable. It's not, you know, nobody comes to the Switch for the OS though. <laughs> uh, so you know, it's it's just it's there to get you into the games. And you know, if it if it improves over time, great. If it doesn't, it still gets me into the game I want to play. Mm. So I'm I'm okay with it. I would love to see improvements, but I think you know. I wouldn't go as far as to call it a piece of crap or anything. I don't get frustrated <laughs> using it. Yeah. It's, yeah. you know, it gets rid of the fluff, and th- th- apparently a lot of things are fluff to, to, to Nintendo. <laughs> so, there you go. Uh, this isn't really a West level, but uh, we've we got to get Netflix at some point. <laughs> Three <laughs> years in and still no Netflix. Maybe we'll get Disney Plus first. <laughs> it, it was kind of shown as uh, Disney's ideal, so we'll see. Yeah. But uh, for now, I think that covers it for our Switch home screen discussion. So thank you for watching. And if you like this video, be sure to like us on Facebook and Twitter at Game Explain. And of course, be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for more on the Switch and other things gaming as well. Until next time, bye.